What's going on everybody? Jason here and today I've got this beautiful 2021 Ram 2500 Bighorn. Starting things off in the front, at the bottom you see you've got blacked out tow hooks right here and a black grill opening here along with your front parking sensors right there. Right next to it you've got your fog lights on both sides and you've got more of the parking sensors in the front integrated into there. Moving right above that you'll notice you've kind of got a gloss black grill going on here along with these uh, chrome accents along with the chrome Ram logo and you've got the front facing camera right there. There. This 2500 does have the sport package so this bezeling right here and right here typically is chromed out but here it's the body color on this truck and you've got your normal halogen lighting right there and just like any heavy duty up top you've got your clearance lamps right up top there and on the hood itself you've got the 2500 badging along with the heavy duty badging right there and this being the Cummins diesel, you've got the Cummins turbo diesel badging right there as well. And of course, you've got your Ram badging on the sides of the doors. This particular truck does have the extended uh, tow meters, which look absolutely massive on this truck and really, really nice with the integrated turn signals. From the side view, this truck looks absolutely stunning, especially in this white color. And you've also got the side steps, which are an uh, additional added option that you can get. As for these wheels right here, these are 18 inch forged aluminum polished wheels which look absolutely beautiful because this truck doesn't have much chrome and just having small accents on the tires and the rims and you know the side steps and all of that makes it perfect being that these are tow mirrors you can adjust both of these according to how you want it and on both sides you do have side cameras right there as well over at the rear you have your 4x4 off-roading decal which is on both sides and this box is the traditional 6x4 box that come on the heavy duties or you can get the 8 foot box as an option as well moving over to the rear of the truck Truck. you've got these beautiful tail lights on all red which look really really nice with the uh, you know the white color chrome and all of that you've also got at the back your big horn badging and of course your 4x4 badging and you can't forget about the massive Ram logo in chrome also at the rear you do get body color bumpers otherwise normally they would be chrome you've got your little step at the at the bottom here to get in and out of your bed and you've got more parking sensors integrated into the rear bumper along with your hitch receiver at the back and then any of the plugs that you do need up top and then right there for towing and over at the bottom you've got your spare tire tucked away in the perfect spot also like any other ram in the rear tailgate handle you do have your integrated backup camera let's go ahead and take a look in the bed this is a soft opening which makes it so much nicer and you've got your spray and bed liner ready to go you've got your tow hooks built in like any traditional ram on all four corners and of course you've got your led bed lighting which is on both sides and this being a heavy duty truck you've got your 115 volt plug back here along with any of your other outlets also in the back i'm not sure if you can see it but those corners right there and in the center you've got your fifth wheel and gooseneck towing prep package already ready to go and you know easy to use you've just got these plugs in the floor and uh, you're ready to go and of course if you need to you can get the optional side steps which are you know looking very very nice you get the chrome look along with the black uh, top right there obviously to protect the chrome and you've got the little ram logo in the center on the side steps as for the key fob it's a traditional ram key fob you've got your unlock lock button remote start and panic button this particular one does not have the tailgate release on the rear it just says ram and looks very very nice and to see how this bad boy sounds you double click the remote start you give it a second there and the cummins engine comes to life taking a look at what powers this 2500 bighorn as i mentioned it is the 6.7 liter turbo cummins diesel engine this is producing 370 horsepower along with 850 foot pound of torque hopping into the rear of the 2500 bighorn on the doors here it's everything is pretty much blacked out and then you've got your silver white stitching right here with the leather uh, feels nice you've got a little bit of storage here and at the bottom You've got this cloth type feeling here, which I think makes a really good accent along with kind of like a brushed aluminum uh, surrounding. And then this part right here is a smooth finish, but it has a very nice texture. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but it looks really, really nice and clean. As for the seats themselves at the back, they are cloth seats, but this cloth seating 
actually feels very very premium um, even for being you know fully cloth if it's really really nice good looking you've got this you know white stitching that goes all around which the design of it even in the middle here it looks absolutely phenomenal in the center here you've got two extra cup holders if you need it at the back and on both sides you do get these in floor storage bins and you can kind of put whatever you need to in here and have it tucked away as for behind the driver and passenger seats again you've got full cloth and you've got a little bit of storage in there on both sides taking a look in the center console at the rear you've got two more cup holders and again you've got more of this kind of textured smooth look that goes all around here and all around the truck which looks really really nice you've got two vents of course back here um, and then you've got your usb ports back here if uh, any of your guys at the back want to use and charge your phones and you've got a 115 volt plug at the rear and a tiny little spot here to put your phone while it's charging also at the rear you can fold these seats all the way up and you can pull this part out which kind of makes it into a flat bottom which you know makes it easier to you know put whatever you need to here if you have pets or you know tools or whatever storage that you need to put extra stuff you can put it here kind of it being a flat bottom at the rear and also you get two more cup holders if those other four weren't enough in the middle seat at the bottom right there also upgraded up top on both sides into the ceiling you do get your you know more of the sound system uh, so it kind of makes it feel like a surround system inside of a truck and you know this sounds really really nice stepping into the driver's side here you've got you know similar door panel trim here you've got the leather of course the stitching some storage storage over here and then your cup holders right there and then again you've got that cloth finish uh, texture feeling there along with this textured smooth uh, little piece right here of course you've got your traditional window controls right there power folding mirrors and then this part right here is to change that little section for the tow mirrors over at the bottom in the driver's side nothing really fancy just your traditional foot pedals your brake pedals you've also got this power button here for the rear plugs in the bed and then your parking brake release and then of course you've got your hood latch release in the center right above that you've got your lighting controls you've got your front fog lights and then your bed lighting right here and then your dimmer right here as well your foot pedals are power adjustable front and back and that's done from right there the front two seats the driver and passenger side are fully covered in cloth even though it's cloth like i mentioned in the rear as well these do look very very nice and plush something unique about these headrests you can actually adjust them this is the standard position you have different little clicks i don't know if you can hear it but it comes down quite a bit or if you want to just reset it just go all the way down and put it back to the standard position also the seats are power adjustable as well and in the center console near the driver and passenger side you do get these little cubby holes to put any paperwork or anything that you really need to as for the steering wheel it is you know wrapped in this nice leather along with the nice stitching that goes all the way around it is fully black You've got you know a small amount of silver kind of uh, little bezeling around all of the buttons there you've got your bluetooth controls you've got your controls for the center gauge cluster which i'll show you you've also got your cruise control settings there and then your gear limiter settings right here and then of course like any other ram you've got that kind of like a matte silver chrome ram logo right in the center if you move the steering wheel over you've got controls for your windshield wipers turn signals and high beams right there and of course being it's a heavy duty truck you get this nice lever instead of that little knob right there i prefer this and it looks way better of course you also have your push to start and then you've got your off-road settings here along with your hill descent control heavy duty lettering and then the 4x4 lettering as well in the center gauge cluster in the middle you'll see the nice little ram logo you've got your rpm you've got your depth percentage you've got the center stack which you can kind of flip through and then of course you've got your speed right there also in the center gauge cluster when you start the 2500 up you do get a bighorn ram logo that pops up on the screen and i'll show you right now If we go ahead and flick through the center section here, you can see your speed, you've got vehicle information, you've got off-road information, obviously your fuel economy as well, you can take a look at trip info, you've got your trailer tow info here, your audio information, any messages, you've got your screen setup option, commercial settings, and then you come back to your speed setting. Up top on the center here, you have plastic all around, 
you know, nothing really fancy. And then of course you've got your speakers on both corners. This is the Alpine speaker system, which is the nine speaker system. Sounds really, really nice. In the center here, you've got a little bit of storage. You've got your 12 volt adapter right there. And then your Ram logo right here with kind of like the brushed aluminum bezeling. And you've got more of this nice textured smooth look that goes all around. In the center here, you've got this nice big handrest. It's wrapped in leather along with the white stitching. Feels absolutely nice if we open the first section up you've got you know a decent amount of space to put whatever you need to along with a usb charger right there if we go ahead and close that open up the main section like any other ram you've got your measurement table right there and a ton of room that ram is known for in the center console here you've got a little bit of here more cup holders right there and you can actually move this section back and forth, having more and more space. You can never run out of space in this truck. If you look in the corner right here, you've got your 115 volt plug right there. And then your phone holder right here. You can hold two phones on both sides. Right above that, you've got more of your auxiliary ports, your charging ports and type C ports right there. Above that, you've got six auxiliary ports. If you ever need to put anything on the truck, lights or whatever it may be, you can connect it to any of these and you have six options to do so. Above that, you've got your front and rear parking sensor buttons. You've also got your exhaust brake button right there, your tow mode right there. And then of course, you've got your trailer brake control right next to it. Up top, you've got your traditional heating and cooling controls. You have your heated seats on the driver's side, heated steering wheel and heated passenger seat as well. This truck is equipped with the 8.5 inch touchscreen. You can also get an option where you can get the full 12 inch screen as well. And in the center, it's just like any other, you know, touchscreen on the Rams. You've got your media, you've got your climate right here. You can control it through here or the actual buttons that are located right near here. Also, you've got the controls button here. Again, you can control your heated and uh, heated seats and your heated steering wheel along with the passenger side as well. And you've got a little bit of options in the center, which is your mirror dimmer, cargo mirror, backup camera, and surround camera. If we go into the surround camera, you can see the top view of your truck and you've got a bunch of different angles that you can take a look at. So you've got your rear kind of a narrow uh, view and then you've got a wider view right here. Same thing in the front, you've got a wider view in the front camera and then a narrower view and then you can see your top view as well. You've also got a bed camera as well if you need to see whatever you're having in there uh, or if you have that fifth wheel or the gooseneck in there make sure it's right and aligned. Also you can see the actual backup camera right here from here and then like I was mentioning outside you've got your side mirrors or side cameras on both of the mirrors on the front. Heading back, you've got your apps. You can go through a bunch of settings here. You've got your built-in navigation, your Bluetooth settings for your phone, and then your settings, which you can kind of customize to your liking. Above that, you've got your rear view dimmer mirror. Up top on the ceiling, you've got your you know interior lights here and then you can you have other options right there assist sos and then this is for your rear power sliding window over on the passenger side when you enter here you are welcome with a big horn badging on the uh the second i guess you can say glove departments like i mentioned on the other side you get more space over here in the glove department you have a decent amount of storage room if that's not enough you got a little bit more up top here right here is the exact window sticker for this 2021 ram 2500 bighorn you can see the base price the features and specs of the truck along with the standard options and then your optional extra added equipment right over here and then of course your total with the options that you've got over there along with any dealer discounts that you get off and the manufacturing discounts that's it for this 2021 ram 2500 bighorn let me know in the comments down below if you like it or if you hate it